basic income staff. And then those you know, basic income actually goes to you know, each community economy direct way. Then, so how they're gonna function like this way? So for example, like you know, in community A, you know, they're gonna issue like in a blue color of the die. Then this you know, die only used in a merchant in this in the community economy. Okay, no other economy. So then why this is so effective? Because once we're gonna you know, issue the you know, universal basic income stuff in a global basis stuff, you know, this currency you can use every, anywhere in the world. So, but you know, community economy wants to build the circular economy inside. So, so here is my idea about you know multi card die for universal basic income stuff. So how. Stuff. So how are we going to apply the natural depreciation of currency for the you know, universal basic income stuff? And my solution is, you know, we're going to leverage the technology of the DAI into the, each local community. Because, you know, once we're going to apply the universal basic currency in a global basis stuff, and into like a DAI model here, you know, we cannot apply this DAI model directly to the each community, right? Because, you know, each community have their own circular economy inside, okay? So, but, you know, DAI is software. So, the technical it's possible that we're gonna set the tag for the each community, and then you know the once the local governments or like, you know each community decided to how much you know money they're gonna issue for the you know the each community current each community economy for taking care of you know basic income stuff, and then those you know basic income actually goes to you know each community economy direct way. Then. So how they're gonna function like this way? So for example, like you know, in community A, you know, they're gonna issue like in a blue color of the die. Then this you know die only used in a merchant in this in the community economy. Okay, no other economy. So then why this is so effective? Because once we're gonna you know issue the you know universal basic income stuff in a global basis stuff, you know, this currency you can use every anywhere in the world. So, but you know, community economy wants to build the circular economy inside. So, when they're gonna issue their own community currency, they wanna consume this currency inside this community. Okay, so from this perspective, by using that software to apply this kind of localization model here for each is very critical. And it's technically possible by using the software technology, okay? Then, which is actually, you know, exactly what I have done in my past for the you know, OB, which I ran my company for four years, you know, since 2014 to 2018. And I already sold this company to the Spare Holdings in 2018, but what I have done there is almost you know, exactly the same as you know, the multi-card die system. So that's why this is one of the reasons I invest in the make of system stuff. It's a huge potential out there, okay? But I think you know, some people want to say, you know, why Bitcoin we cannot use for the you know, universal basic you know, income stuff? But my answer is, you know, it's actually, you know, not good fit for the, you know, sustainable economy development stuff. And then let me tell you the reason why. The first of all, you know, Bitcoin played a very critical role to grow up, you know, new economic system in the blockchain space. So this is, you know, my portfolio strategy stuff because in you know, Bitcoin, which is digital gold with the relative supply model, they're going to attract a lot of money from the old money market, like stock or bond fiat currency to the altcoin market here. So, you know, Bitcoin just like a prayer and a great catalyst law to attract capital to the old economy, to the new economy. Then through this process, including MakerDAO, a lot of like a high potential altcoin project is growing up, all right? But this kind of critical growth, how they're gonna happening is actually, we need the US dollar crisis, okay? Because currently, you know, uh, this is a slide from the CoinDesk and then uh, this is like, you know, the central bank's foreign reserves by country, you know, by you know, currency share. So this is the data from 2009, 2015, and 2019. And as you can see here, US dollar blue one hit the all the time over 60%. So currently US dollar is a key currency, you know, for the global economy. So this is why the things we have to achieve to see long-term growth in the cryptocurrency economy is like, you know, we have to be overwhelmed potential of the US dollar economy here, okay? 
And the key thing is actually U.S. dollar crisis. Once U.S. dollar, you know, experienced the, you know, the currency system crisis stuff, a lot of people, retail investors, start buying cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin, because it's a digital gold and limited supply model. Okay, especially like you know, currently inflation problem in the U.S. dollar will be the serious problem with the quantum easing by FRB. So that's why. Okay. But how they gonna like a Bitcoin play a very critical role here is actually this one. So U.S. dollar's crisis will accelerate central banks to reserve BTC, Bitcoin, instead of U.S. dollar to maintain their fiat currency trust. So this is the balance of the central banks. So usually, you know, a lot of central bank in a global basis set the you know, U.S. dollar on their assets here to, you know, build the trust for their own fiat currency. Because in you know, a fiat currency, for the issue in the fiat currency, they're gonna need some kind of backup to build the trust for the trust of the you know, fiat current, fiat, the value of the fiat currencies, and then they're gonna usually use the US dollar here. So, but once we're gonna experience the US dollar crisis, what's gonna happen? He's like, you know, some central banks start to probably buy the BT, Bitcoin instead. Because, you know, if the B retail investor, you know, start to buy a Bitcoin, which means that, you know, there is a space of trust behind the Bitcoin, that's fine. You know, central banks also want to throw that kind of mechanism stuff. That's why this kind of thing would happen. And then this would be a kind of key driver for, to, grow, to grow the altcoin markets. Okay? But, you know, here's the problem. So, this is my opinion here. So, Bitcoin as this or gold will be the great last resort assets to join the US dollar crisis moment, but won't be an idea for the stable coin to develop the sustainable economy in super long term because it's limited supply. So here's the problem. So, you know, in the, to achieve the SEC goals, we want to build the you know, circular economy, as I explained here. Okay? Then, to deal with the circular economy, you know, resources inside should be circulating inside. That is why, you know, natural depreciation, you know, currency, you know, play a very critical role to accelerate the of the circulation of the resources here with the, you know, currency system stuff. So that's why, you know, we don't like the inflation crisis here. You already understand. But once bring the BTC here, the problem is going to happen because it's a limited supply. So some of the user inside this community wants to hold this currency, not to use for them, for the you know, base, universal basic income or something. And then that'd be a critical problem for this you know, circular economy because you know, they're going to you know, lower the barriers of circulations. That's why. So, you know, still the natural depreciation currency is a great, you know, tool for them. So that's why, as I told you in the previous slides, still the multi-card die with the nat natural depreciation model, like this way, for the you know, greatest fits and the best solution to achieve you know, universal basic income. And then those universal, universal basic income stuff is the natural currency depreciation model is a great catalyst for us to achieve SDGs by United Nations. Okay? All right. All right, so that is all this time. So I also make a lot of interesting video about the crypto assets and blockchain space too. So uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye.